Reinholds, my name is Michael, and I'm your Scout News anchor. Today is National Entrepreneurs Day, and it celebrates the people who represent one of the best things in America, entrepreneurship. America was built on entrepreneurs, who started from nothing and managed to build something amazing, by creating a product or a company that gives other people jobs and creates wealth. People with an entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial mind are usually ambitious dreamers who see a need for something and create solutions to problems. All the products that have been essential in our daily lives were once just a prototype in some budding entrepreneur, entrepreneur's mind. This day celebrates those go-getters and inspires people to become entrepreneurs themselves and start their own businesses, especially those that are part of the next generation. And now for your Tuesday, November 15th, Scotty News. In sports, today, come watch your dance team at halftime as the B Red team plays against Stevens here at 4 p.m. Tomorrow, the B-Black team is, in, is back in action, traveling to Park to play at 4 p.m. Be sure to schedule your showcase time to make sure you get the best time possible. Tomorrow is a showcase work day, but remember, you can be working on, on those all week long, too. In other news, our web is presenting a cool cultural event this week, Art Around the World. The focus will be on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Web leaders will be facilitating art projects from around the world during lunches, the purpose of this project is for all of us to learn that art is fluid. It transforms when it travels from one place to another, and how everything around the world is connected through art. Today, we, today we'll be making Aboriginal dot pictures. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Pacino, the web advisor. Today at lunchtime, the web leaders have a fun art project planned for you. Today we're going to be making Australian Indigenous art, which is the Aboriginal dot painting. Aboriginal Australians, also referred to as Aborigines, are people whose ancestors were indigenous to the Australian continent, that is to mainland Australia or to the island of Tasmania. Traditional Aboriginal art includes painting on natural items such as leaves and bark, using sand to paint carving woods, rocks, emu eggs, or shells, basket weaving, jewelry making. In the 1970s, artists in Australia, Northern Territory, Aboriginal people who lived in the Central and Western Desert, created various paintings that experimented yeah. with colors and styles and set out to tell their dreaming stories <laughs> linked to land, history, and culture. The style came from the artist knowledge of ceremonial and traditional body and sand painting, and the symbols might include circles, journey lines, bird, and animal tracks, all with many meanings. We hope you will join us in making Australian Indigenous art Aboriginal dot painting at lunch today. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Pacino and the web team for this look into other cultures. Eighth graders, don't forget about the opportunity to go to Perry Technical Institute in Yakima on November 29th and then a second trip on November 30th. Spots are limited and only 30 students can go on each of these days. Forms and all the requirements are due to Mrs. Howard by Wednesday. Make sure to create a smart pass. Esports, esports e breaking news. There will be an informational meeting today at 2.40 in Portable 9. See Mr. Grossman for more details. This should be a pretty exciting club as our high schools have this club and Southridge even has state champions. So even if these aren't the games you usually play, come have fun and be part of the Scotty Clubs. And don't forget to go to the 8th grade hall after school to get your snacks. Mr. Frenson, and Mr. Frenson, Mrs. Stewart, and the other amazing staff members are there for you to get your snack on. Slushies, chips, and candy are all waiting for you. And finally, our quote of the day comes from Black Panther actor Chadwick Boseman. The only difference between a villain and a hero is that the villain chooses to use that power in a way that is selfish and hurts other people. For Michael Craig and your school press, have a great day here at HMS.